Hey guys, I'm Frostfox, and welcome back to my Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzzle. Now, uh, in the last episode, we battled the trainers on Route 3. We did lose Trico, which is a shame, but we did catch a Jolteon and a Nido King, which I have trained up in between episodes, so we'll go through them. There's Jolteon, he's now on level 17 and still has Spark, Charge, Thunder Punch and Thunder Bolt. He was going to learn Thunder Shock, but I thought what he had was good enough. And yeah, he's what I caught on Route 3, there you go. Next we got Nido King. I caught him in Mount Moon actually. And he has Mud Slap, Payday, Scary Face, and Air Cutter. Uh, I'm pretty sure he only learns one move as Nido King, which is at level 20, so he'll learn something. Other than that, though, I'll probably have to give him TMs. And then we got Ivysaur, who survived this long, and he's on level 19. And still has Magical Leaf, Metronome, Petal Dance, and Frenzy Plant. And I only have those three at the moment. And there we go. Alright, and now we're going to tackle Mount Moon. Try and get through that in this one episode, hopefully. We'll see how we go. We have a Nose Pass here. Short Hill can't do much to that, so we'll run. Uh, I'll pick up this item. Which is TM7 Vine Whip. There we go. Might be able to use that on someone eventually. Oh, this item is a C Incense. Which, if I'm right. Yeah, ups water type moves. I don't have any water Pokemon at the moment, but... Anyway, let's take on this trainer. Two Pokemon. A magic car. Too easy. There goes Magic Car. A Raichu is next. Okay, then we will switch. We'll go to Nido King for that. And we'll use Mud Slap. Super effective. Oh, one hit point left. Payday. Oh, picked up some extra money there. From payday as well. That'll be good for money anyway. There's a blossom in here. Try and knock him out with a thunderbolt. Won't do much, but. Ooh, that's. Solar Beam, probably. But we'll knock him out. There we go. Get the experience. 210. Okay. Now we got this trainer. It's 
to Lass Iris. Just one Pokemon, a Hitmon top. Level 14, okay. Let's do a charge. Go Thunderbolt. Got him. There we go, Joel Hill went to 18. Zubats. Oh, hopefully there's no Zubats. Shouldn't be, it's randomised. Go down this ladder. There's a Trico in here as well. Let's just run. Shell gone. Pretty sure this is still classed as Mount Moon. It's not like a basement level or anything. Yeah, it's Mount Moon, so. There's an item here a white herb. What the hell's a white herb? Restores any lowered stat in battle. Can be only used once. Okay. Team Rocket. Wheezing! That's alright, let's fight this Rocket Grunt. He has three Pokemon. A Kingler. Oh, well, that shouldn't be too hard. For Jolhion. Let's go for a Thunder Punch. Got him. A Wismo. We'll stay in for a Wismo. Thunderbolt. Try and knock him out in one hit. Got him. A Celebi. Okay, yeah, we'll switch. Let's go air cutter. Got him. Great. Okay. Go back this way. There's an Aerodactyl in here. Okay, go down now. Trainer. A Vibrava. I think he is Ground Dragon, so I might want to switch. Let's go to Ivysaur for this one. Let's 
the magical leaf. Nearly. A wingo. Yell stand for a wingo. Another magical leaf. That should knock him out. Got him. And that takes Ivysaur to level 20. Pick up this item. Soft sand. I think that's for ground type moves as well. A Neo King again. Okay, we'll go Thunderbolt. Actually, it probably won't do much, but yeah, it doesn't affect him. Ew. I think I'll run. There we go. Safest option. There's another one. Alright, Ivy Saw can come here. Got him. A dive ball. Okay. Twisted spoon. And another Neo King. Let's put Ivysaur at the front, just in case. Ooh, an Ella Kid. That would have been nice. Another Nido King. Another ladder. Go down. Another grunt. A spinner rack. Go for metronome. Got him. Ursaring.
There goes Ursaring. Get this item. TM35 Sonic Boom. Hmm, okay. Another trainer. Three Pokemon. Starting with Water. Switch. There goes Haunter. There you go, Ivy Saw Grew to 21. And Nido King went to 19. Aledian. I'll stay in. Got him. A hop hip. Doesn't affect him. Okay. There goes the trainer. Okay, moving on. A Sableye. Goldeen. Okay, let's grab this item. A big mushroom. I think we can sell that. Spiro. Spinarak as well. Alright, use the ladder. A staff berry, okay. A jump luff. Another 
grunt. Two Pokemon. Haunter. Let's go Metronome. Not much. Okay, I'll switch to Nido King. Poison won't do anything. Air cutter. And down goes Haunter. A trap inch. Yeah, we'll go back to Ivysaur. And we'll go pedal dance. Got him. Hello, Nine Tails. That'd be awesome. Here's another grunt, so we fight this one. Agoribus. Magical Leaf. Got him. Easy done. An electrode. I'll switch. Go to Neo King. One more of them should knock him out. Got him. Fantastic. And there we go, Nido King went to level 20. Oh, maybe it's not level 20, he learns the move. Could, could be 30. Now we got the scientist here, and then we get to choose a fossil. We 
Okay, he has free Pokemon. A right on. Let's go for Petal Dance. Got him. There we go, Ivysaur is 22 now. Trying to learn a Giga Drain. Oh, yeah. What's Giga Drain? It's 75 and 100. Well, Petal Dance and Frenzy Plant are ones I want to keep. And Magical Leaf really isn't bad either. Metronome. As good as Metronome is, well, it's either that or Magical Leaf. Oh, screw it, let's get rid of Metronome. Because that's just a totally random. Oh, there we go, we've got Giga Drone now. A grand bow. I'll stay in. Still going with pedal dance. Got him. A Hitmon Chan. As long as he doesn't have fire punch. That will probably knock him out anyway, yes. Fantastic. All three with the same pedal dance. Excellent. And now we get to take one of the fossils. Most people would go for Kabuto or Kabutops, but I'm a, I am lean towards Omanyte myself. Uh, first I'm going to switch, have Jolteon out in front. The Helix fossil, that is uh, Kabuto I think. And the dome fossil is Omanyte. Yeah, I'm leaning towards the dome fossil. Yeah, let's get the dome fossil. And he takes the other one. And there's a jump off. Now I'll just run. Get this item. X speed. Okay. So ladder. Ladder. And we're out of Mount Moon. Oh, these guys can give us a good move. Mega Punch and the other one is Mega Kick. Sure, let's have a look. Mega Punch, you know what, I'm tempted to give it to Nido King. Because Nido King could use a move. Let's give it to him. Oh, it's Dynamic Punch. Oh, the, of course, they're randomised, aren't they? Dynamic Punch. Still, Dynamic Punch isn't bad. Let's see what the other guy is teaching. So that's Dynamic Punch. What's this guy 
giving us. Well, if it's not Mega Kick, let's see what it is. Something else only Nido Kim can learn. It is Takedown. Oh, uh, Takedown, not especially. No. He'll take Dynamic Punch, though. Okay, let's have a look at it. It's a hundred and fifty accuracy. So it's only a 50-50 chance of hitting. Well, let's see. It's better than scary face anyway, so let's get rid of that. There we go. Okay, summary. Okay. Alright, now I can move on. The other one is takedown, and we don't really want to take down. Could be a hidden item down here, but... Here's an item. TM20 Fake Out. It's probably not bad for when you actually want to um, catch a Pokemon. Uh, we can catch a Pokemon here, but we'll jump down here. Yeah, we can go there anytime now, so we'll come back. We might do that in the next episode, actually. First of all, we'll go to Cerulean City and we'll heal at the Pokemon Center. Okay. And with that, I think I'll leave this episode right here. And we'll go catch a Pokemon just over there uh, in the next episode. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment and subscribe and everything. And I'll catch you next time. Alright, bye.